Love is the foundation of home. Hi, it's Tiffany. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are cleaning the kitchen and adding fall decor. So let's start off by setting the mood. Uh, I had I purchased this fireplace from Wayfair almost a year ago, and we are going to dig into our decor bin so I can get some inspiration. So I'm going to clean first, but I like to get inspiration and get some thoughts flowing. I didn't buy anything new for this decor that I'm going to put out. So um, definitely dig into your old bins and make use of what you already have. Though washing dishes is my least favorite chore, I love this Dawn Power Wash dish spray. It is so good. It gets all the grime and gook off of your dishes and it just makes it an easy cleaning experience. So you're going to be seeing me use this dish spray throughout the video, not only on my dishes, but to clean my appliances. Like I love this stuff. Like I really, really love this stuff. So like most people, I love the fall, but I didn't always love it. It was always, as a kid, the summer for me. And for obvious reasons, I get to be with my cousins and my friends and just play all day and really not have too many worries. You know, it was just a fun and great time, right? You go to bed late, but as an adult, I feel like when it came to my mid 20s I started really appreciating fall and I always loved being around my family and you know just I just loved that feeling like that feeling of warmth and joy but I really appreciate it even more in my mid-20s and so fall for me it just symbolizes family If y'all tried this peach soda from the Piggly Wiggly, this was my first time when I got a case, but mm -mm, not my thing. Don't like it. it tastes like pure sugar, but let me know how y'all feel about this. But here we go again with this Dawn Power Wash dish spray. I'm going to use this to clean my refrigerator. It is so good, y'all. I love this dish spray. Like, no cap. It is really that bomb. I use it to clean everything, like literally everything, and it does a great job. Different places, different faces that I've seen Out of all the places that I've been Nothing tops the Medellin Before the world became a meme Before we were a thing We used to fantasize about our biggest dreams Hearts collide, paramedics hit the scene Just another casualty I know you draws in for someone that gets you wetter Someone to do you better Feeling this excitement because you want me Holding it 
it all together But the regret is letting you up Can't say the same thing I moved on Tell me was it worth all the anxiety Hearts collide Feeling inside burning you up How it goes In my arms You were once As I'm going through the footage of this video, I'm like, this looks like a deep clean, but it, it's really not. Honestly, I do a deep clean once a month. Sometimes I'll push it to a month and a half. But what helps me is that I do, of course, my weekly cleans, but I tidy up throughout the week. Like every day I'm cleaning something because if I wait up until the time to clean for my deep clean like really really like get things together in order i'm gonna have a hot mess it's really not going to be something i want to do i will push it off so i do these cleanings throughout and i didn't do that before like i would probably do it at the end of the week and then that was that seemed like a deep clean it wasn't even that deep so i've been really working on making sure i do a weekly clean and a tidying up like every day like every day I have to do something I haven't really got that good with the laundry yet like doing a daily laundry I just oh, child. but I'm getting better and it it really is helpful so this is the part where I was over it I forgot to clean the kitchen sink so that was the last thing I was going to do for the night. I didn't even bother sweeping or anything. I was going to save it for the next day because I still had to do my hair. And I started pretty late because I had to work this day. So straight from work, I'm cleaning, which took me about a good, I think, four hours. So yeah, it, it was a wrap. And now for the favorite part, decorating. I think it's pretty much 95% everybody's favorite part. But one thing you're gonna notice while I'm decorating is the price tags. I don't know why I keep price tags on items, but I do. If it's extremely visible, I'm gonna take them off. But for the most part, I'm just gonna find a way to hide it and just leave it there. I don't know why. It's silly, but like, it's just something I do. Like, do you do that? I don't know what the reason is for. I'm actually gonna Google it. Let's chat in the comment section. Do you do this? Why do you feel like you do it? Is it just because you don't want to bother taking it off? I don't know, but we got to have a conversation. Desire, it blasts up, baby, up, 
Decorating is fun, right? But you're always going to move things around because that's just what you do. Like this book, I really did not feel the vibes. It was giving more spring, summer versus fall vibes. So I had to just make way with that but this pumpkin is so cute i got it from nordstrom rack last year and i didn't put it out last year but i knew i was going to put it to use this year and this is the thing like you get items and you don't have to shop every season every year and fun fact i used to work at nordstrom rack for a year and a half i just stopped this year and i definitely put that discount to use something you don't want to talk through was it something i said or something i forgot to do whatever it is has you upset but i'm here for you let's take our time no need to rush the only thing we are waiting on is us just so we have reached the end of the video but i hope you was able to obtain some inspiration get some cleaning motivation going on for yourself and that you enjoyed the visuals and the commentary of this video but until next time make sure you are giving love to yourself you are spreading the overflow of your love to others and remember true beauty starts from the love within bye